Welcome friends, in today's video I'll be comparing three pro-level double valve bass trombones, namely the Cancel 1662, the TR181 Holton, and to my right the Yamaha 612 discontinued model. The reason i chosen these three is because the bell size is slightly different, going from small or standard, the Cancel with 9.5 inch, the Holton with a 10 inch and the Yamaha also 10 inch, but actually I just measured and as I could also feel, the Yamaha is actually a few millimeters bigger than the Holton. They're both classified as 10 inch, but there is a small difference and I believe it does make a difference in the feel of the instrument. So have fun, grab yourself a drink. We're gonna take this nice and easy. I've included some chapters for those with little time or patience to get right to the heart of the testing. I'll be doing some basic mid, high and low, low range playing in one take, as it were, to get a direct comparison. So let's get going with the Canstall in a nice mid range melody. This is the Ergo Bone, by the way, the harness, I call it the career saver. Check out the link below for 10% discount, quote Nick Scholl, and it will be done. This harness reduces the weight dramatically of the of, of the bass trombone. Immediately you notice here the big flaw with the Holton, the, the F valve trigger is way too near to my face. I don't know if other people have that problem, but if I was to buy this horn, I would need to get the F lever somewhat bent in a different position. I constantly open it up with my chin. So I'm using the same mouthpiece as you saw, the Rath one and a half, sorry, one and a quarter, B one and a quarter, my stable workhorse over the years. I thought the thick rim, this kind of solid type mouthpiece would be most appropriate, for, especially for the larger bells. So. They feel completely different. I would say bell size is the biggest difference amongst any trombone, basically. Of course, there's other differences. Here, the Canstall has the the Tiz slide, the tuning in slide, as it's called. So, what, so it's a one-piece bell, taper at least. That has a huge sound impact. It's a much heavier slide, of course. But they all have the same bore, 0.562 bore size, the standard bass trombone bore size, the bell really does make a huge difference. So let's go into the low register. First of all, I, I'll do the Ben van Dyke test. Hi, Ben. Still love you. By that, I mean the basic connection, B flat to double, double valve register.
not quite as open there. You probably heard I wasn't centered to begin with. I did find the sound after a few notes, but it wasn't immediately there, right? A few, few millimeters bigger, Mr. Yamaha, Phil Teal, rest in peace. He had about 12 of these horns, I think. Immediate response. Maybe not quite as centered as the Canstool, but the response is immediate. That's one thing I love about the older Yamahons in particular. There is such little resistance. It's incredible. Even with the biggest bell size here, it takes off pretty quickly. As I said, the focus is less with the bigger bell size. Um, you get more width, you get a, a wider sound. This is useful for different contexts, right? So bass trombone in a, maybe in a church group or a, even in a quartet, in an ensemble setting um, where you're playing the bass role, you might want to have that, more, that, that bigger width. It's a sound concept thing. I found playing duets with students, especially, it's nice to have that wider sound to support them. Um, you lose a few overtones though. So anyway, continuing. Let's go up into the mid to high register. It's a beautiful tune I always play called Far Away Places, jazz ballad, um, Murray McEachern. I think I'm pronouncing that wrong. McEachern, Canadian legend, uh, little known ja jazz trombonist. It's got a record you've got to check out, Far Away Places, on YouTube even, um, caresses the album. You've got the full album on YouTube. I'll try to link it here. to a high uh, B natural there. I noticed it immediately. I'm simply not used to these bigger bell sizes anymore. I stick to the nine and a half inch with my two can stores, my Butler carbon fiber. That's my preferred size. I used to, I began with a massive Shires, 10 and a half inch bell until basically I realized I wasn't playing efficiently enough. Uh, I also got injured from the weight of that huge beast with the Thea valves, hence the ergo bone, etc. So I stick to a smaller size bell or standard bell. Immediately I notice you've got to work harder with a bigger size in the high range, especially. It just takes more air, it sucks more air. So I would um, consider very carefully going any bigger than nine and a half inch. If you're a big robust player, that's fine. I know a few, but I don't know many. They really are the exception to the rule in my opinion. 
the big bell players. I heard uh, it used to be a fashion in the uh, 80s, especially when the Bach 50B2 came out or was there with the 10 and a half inch bell, the pizza plate bell, it was known in North America. It's no longer the uh, the sound concept we're looking for or, or that's in vogue, I'd say. I'd say um, in general, this compact bell size is the, the ideal bass trombone size in general. Very subjective, but uh, I've heard a, I've heard most of the best. Been playing this thing for a long time, and that's my that's my take on the thing. Hit subscribe if you haven't yet for more of these reviews. Also, my Golden Sound Trombone Video Masterclass. Uh, sign up for free in the link below. We've got great breathing exercises, intonation, and sound exercises with PDFs, all for free. Hit the link below for that. Thanks very much. Any questions about bell size or the equipment nodes out there, I'm sure I have something to say about this. I didn't have a 10.5 inch uh, <laughs> as a comparison. I'm not sure I ever will. Uh, I actually thought the 612 was that size until someone corrected me. But interestingly, I measured and it's a few millimeters bigger than that Holton. So, uh, and as I said, you can feel it. Regards to Yamaha, uh, in terms of a final verdict, it speaks so very quickly. Maybe you heard with with especially that power exercise in the bass register that it was breaking up quicker. Now I would say it's probably thinner brass than the others, especially thinner than the Canstall, which seems to have a, a more solid structure of, of bell, especially. That's part of it as well. Um, so you know, ease of response also has that downside, it can break up more easily. So be aware of that. See you next time.